at Shattuck St. Mary's and played at University of North Dakota for the Fighting Sioux, but I've played with the national team for the last six years now and made two Olympic teams and won two silver medals at the Olympics. And so I'm kind of on the other side of things now and would love to get into the broadcasting side of things. And uh, it's a little bit different doing the interviews than being asked the questions, but it's something I, I really enjoy and would love to get into in the future. So when you do interviews and you find someone's being not, I don't know, difficult would be the right word, but not giving like any, short answers and things like that. Yeah, yeah, not being helpful at all. What do you just roll with it? Yeah, you go into it with a couple of questions, but it all hinges on that first answer. I mean, if that answer is something that you were not expecting, then just follow it up, right? You can just see from the minute you get to the ring, that's her comfort zone. So no matter what she chooses to do, and certainly if it's television and or any form of broadcasting, you know, there's the spark that never goes away. Once you're around the ice surface, uh, you light up internally and I think in her case externally as well. So uh, that's, that's always good for a broadcast. You want to have that personality and, and love for the game. I'm with the uh, under 18 uh, World Championships this week. I'll be doing some of the color commentating uh, with FastHockey.com and I'll be doing some other media events uh, around Buffalo to help promote and hopefully get a lot of people in the stands this week to be able to interview one of the players was extremely helpful obviously and uh, it being Drew Stafford who him and I kind of go back. Hi Monique Lamour here with USA Hockey and Drew Stafford with the Buffalo Sabres. Drew, uh, Buffalo is no stranger to hosting World Championship events. Uh, what do you guys think of being able to host the U18 Women's World Championships this week? Well, it's great for the community especially with the, uh, the new Harbor Center uh, opening up. It's a beautiful facility. He played college with one of my brothers and his dad coached my sister and I growing up so it kind of just made doing the interview part uh, a little bit easier. To be around the game you love and to be able to have the opportunity to continue working with the game on the, off the ice instead of on the ice uh, would be a real treat for me if I had the opportunity.